Hello everyone, what's poppin? My name is Mr. Akri and today I have a video about the exoskeletons in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Multiplayer. If you missed my introduction video to this series that I made yesterday, then check out the playlist below in the description. All my breakdown videos of uh, multiplayer will be there. Now let's talk exoskeletons. The first point that we will talk about is exo movement, which is a really interesting point because it's basically what makes this game so different. It's what makes Advanced Warfare a game changer in Call of Duty. So speed, strength, agility and verticality are all incorporated into the exo skeletons. It makes you faster, stronger and more tactical. And verticality, basically what that refers to is the boost jumping which is basically double jumping. I would never have guessed something like this would have come to multiplayer, so it really is a big game changer. And boost jumping isn't the only thing you can do with this sophisticated suit. You can even boost dash, slide, dodge, and even slam. And slam is basically an air to ground melee attack. So yeah, as you can tell, this changes the Call of Duty experience in ways we've never witnessed before. Now let's start talking about boost jump. Now that we have this new ability, we need to adapt to it. This is something that I really like about this game. I can already tell that the skill gap will be huge because the exo movements add a whole new level of strategy. And in Call of Duty Ghosts, it was basically, if I see you first, you're dead. But in this game, you can strafe out of the way with boost dash and you can boost jump out of the way, so this game will be much more strategic, which is a good thing. Boost jump also comes with a lot of tactical options and combina combinations, which makes it even more skill-based, so hooray for that! Let's talk about verticality. As I mentioned earlier, verticality refers to boost jumping, and now that we have this ability, they obviously have to adapt and incorporate this to especially the maps. They now have higher buildings and more objects to jump on and that kind of stuff. And all these abilities that they've added to the exoskeleton make the game really fast and tactical. There is also a new thing added in the pick 13 system of Advanced Warfare. And the pick 13 system is basically the creator class system. And what they did is that they combined tacticals and lethals into something called the exo launcher. So instead of throwing your lethal or tactical, you will launch it using your exo skeleton. And the reason they combined tactical and lethals into one category is so they could add another category, exo abilities. And these are basically perks or attachments, but for your exoskeleton. And the abilities shown in the reveal were exo shield, exo overclock, exo stim, exo cloak, exo hover, and exo trophy system. Oh, and also exo ping. And most of these are self explanatory, but I will go through them anyways. First of all, it is worth mentioning that these abilities have a battery for each life. They last for about 5 to, to 10 seconds, I would say. And there is a perk that allows it to last longer. But we'll get more into that when we talk about perks. So, when it comes to the Exo Shield, it's very simple. You use it and your character will create a shield using his exoskeleton, very similar to a riot shield. And it doesn't even take long to get the shield ready so that's really cool and you can see it on screen right now i think you will be able to equip the right shield without the ability just like in previous call of duties but we'll get to that when we talk about weapons so stay tuned for that as well next up we have exo overclock and this ability will increase your foot speed nothing more complicated than that then we have Exostim, which will temporarily generate health beyond normal levels. And this one sounds very overpowered and annoying, but as long as it's balanced, I'm fine with it. Next up, we have Exo Hover, and this one is very self-explanatory. When you boost jump normally, you will quickly fall down, obviously. But if you use this ability, then you will hover in air, not falling down until your battery dies. And this is really crazy, you're essentially flying for a few seconds and it will be really interesting to see how this plays out when the game releases. 
So then we have EXO trophy system and we all know what trophy systems are. We've seen them in Black Ops 2, we've seen them in Modern Warfare 3 and this time you are the trophy system, literally. So if you are using this ability and you see a grenade or a rocket approaching you, use it and it will get destroyed. I will probably use this one a lot but it kind of depends if many people use grenades and rockets when the game's game comes out then I'll use it but otherwise there's no point. <laughs> Lastly we have EXO ping and this ability will show enemy EXO movement and weapons fire in your heads up display. So that's it for this video. This is essentially everything we know about the exoskeletons and how they work. I hope you learned something new and if you did make sure to press the like button as it helps out a lot and subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming breakdowns and other videos. Next video in this series will be about character customization. Until then, I will catch you on the flip side, bye!